Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make the postcard for the month of July. So before I do that, I'm just going to give you a little recap on what we've done so far. So we're going to look at January, February, March, April, May, move those around, June and now July. So every month we're making a postcard size block with something that I feel is representative for that month and then at the end of the year I'm going to show you how to put them all together to make into a quilt or a wall hanging. So let's get back to today's. So you can see I've done a beach theme using beach huts. And this is really quick, easy and simple to do. And what I've loved about doing this is as I've gone through my scrap box, I've brought out little pieces of fabric, which has brought back some wonderful memories. So for example, this piece of fabric here that I've used for this beach hut went into a quilt that I made for my grandson who is now 20. So you can see I throw nothing away, but it's lovely because it brings back all these wonderful memories and now I'm making them into this postcard block. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take our piece of background fabric and this measures seven by five. It may be that we leave it at this or we may trim it down at the end. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm lucky that I've got some sky fabric, but if you haven't got sky fabric, it doesn't matter. Any kind of pale blue fabric will do because at the end of the day, with this, you could put some birds in the sky or you could put a sun in the sky, whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to use this sky fabric. I'm just going to break the back of the bond web and lay it all in place. So I always start with the top and then work down. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have some sand and I'm going to have a lighter bit of sand. I've actually decided that's probably too big. Let's get my bigger scissors a minute. So you can see I'm trying to replicate that, but no two are ever the same. Right, so I'm going to put that there, keep that bit. And then I'm going to have the lighter sand behind it. So again, take the bonder web off. Put that there. And then the darker sand in front. And then I've got some blue fabric, which looks like waves. Another piece of blue fabric. So these are all just strips that I've cut and put Bonder Web on. That's too big. I'll just trim that off because what I don't want is to end up with Bonder Web on the ironing board. I'll be in real trouble. So now I've layered all my different colours, which are the sea and the sand. I'm going over to the iron and I'm going to press all of those in place. Now a little tip so you don't get bonder web on your ironing board would be to use some grease proof paper or some baking parchment under your work and then that stops you getting any bonder web on your iron. So here we have our background all put together. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the beach huts. So I drew very roughly, so I've got one that I've prepared here. 
So I drew very roughly on a piece of paper here. Let me show you. So it's really simple to draw. So just draw that shape and then that piece for the roof. And then you're going to line them up. You're going to decide where you want to put them. So again, we'll break the bonder web. So you do them separately rather than one because you want a different colour roof to your stripy beach hut. But if you're good at free motion, you could just have a plain piece of fabric and you could do some lines with free motion if you wanted to. So that's one beach hut. Got another one here ready to cut out. And then I thought I had a piece, aha. Uh -huh. So you can see, that's why I left it. So you can see the tiniest scrap I've actually used. So I don't waste anything. So I'm gonna use this for the roof. Take that bonder web off and put that on there. And I would carry on till I've got them all lined up in the position that I want them to be in. And then I'd take them back to the iron and press them on. So if we come back to the one that's been made, you can see that I've done three beach huts in a row. You can do as many as you want. You may even decide that you want to do this one landscape and you could do a whole row of beach huts. You could put birds in the sky. You could do some free motion. You could put a bucket and spade here. You could have a parasol. There's so many things you can do. So as always, make it your own, have fun, and I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.